margarita margarita Oh my god, what's going on? What happened to Violetta? Mike, go and get more blankets. I don't know, Natalie. My companion found her in the woods of the West Wing. If my companion didn't keep her warm, she might have died from hypothermia. Even serration where the prosthesis were severed? Skin turned purple. Drenched clothes. Her prosthesis! Mike and I think they were sawed off. Muro, get up here! I'll see what he needs. Please look after her, Natalie. <sighs> I can also help chop some firewood to keep us warm. You're the only one who knows how to use that damn saw. Huh, this is... I found this when I got up here. The door to my room was slightly ajar, but I distinctly remember it was closed when I left. A faint smell of grease up close. Brown wood shavings and some unidentified silver fragments. Damp water stains? Who do you think it was? Oh, so it's in here. I've been looking all over for my saw. Mike, do you still need it? Is this yours? Uh, yes, I... What are you doing? Violetta is... Oh, good morning, Natalie. I was looking for my saw. Turns out Mike has it. You said something about Violetta. How is she? Uh, she is awake. The fifth child. It must have been the son. Oh no. I forgot. Violetta. Are you okay, Violetta? Uh, Natalie! Natalie, we don't have much time. Let's begin our rehearsal now. Violetta, what happened? Mike. Oh, clever Mike. I will remember. So long as we are rehearsed. Violetta, who did this to you? Do you remember? Remember. I will remember. Just give me some time. And I Calm remember. down, Mike. Violetta needs to rest right now. Her hypothermia is too severe. I'll be here to take care of her. We'll talk when she wakes up and feels better, okay? Wake up! Who is it? Who is it? Violetta! 
Moreau? Oh, it's Moreau. Oh. Violetta, how are you feeling? Okay. I'm okay. Oh no! My playbill! Playbill! Oh, oh thank goodness. Thank goodness it's still here. Violetta, why were you outside on such a cold day? And who? I was rehearsing. I haven't performed in so long. Mr. said... Mr.? The Mr. in black. Morrow, where are the other? I'm ready. We can begin rehearsals today. I'm ready and will not make mistakes again. Sure, Violetta. Why don't you rest for a while? When the others are rehearsed and everything is ready, I will come and wake you up. Don't worry, Violetta. Okay. I'm a bit tired. Need to rest. It seems that Violetta really wants to finish the performance. Perhaps I should help her fulfill this wish. For her? This winter is too long. Muro, how is Violetta? She woke up for a while, but now she's out again. Did she say? She wasn't fully conscious, and only mumbled something about a Mr. in Black. In Black? Mr. What's going on, Mike? That night at Moon River, Zell also mentioned a person in Black going into the large tent. You think they're the same person? Do you consider Zell an honest person, Muro? But we all know, Mike, that... She isn't a talented actor, at least not in the eyes of most people. And she doesn't have a reason to lie. Then how come she survived? That culprit did not let Violetta go, yet they let her go. Obviously, she knows more than she lets on. That is suspicious. And it seems like the culprit didn't want Violetta to live, yet... They also didn't want to be the one killing her. Speaking of actors, Mike, have you thought about what would happen if the performance were to happen according to the host's plan? Perhaps we may find what we're looking for. You mean finishing the performance? I need to think about it. Okay. I'll also talk to Margarita and Joker. I'll check on Violetta. Muro, is it your wish to finish the performance? Uh, I suppose. <laughs> Muro, they are actually wrong. You and Bernard are quite alike. At least the Bernard I remember. Natalie, are you looking for me? Natalie and Joker? I can't make out their conversation. I want to know what they're talking about, but it's best that they don't find out. I'm eavesdropping. That is right. They are indeed a threat. But it was not my fault, Joker. Please, why won't you believe that it was just a performance? Don't forget, Natalie. It was also a performance that night. But that turned into a disaster in the end. But you're free now, are you not, Natalie? That is temporary. Just until Sergei comes back. This is why I've come to this horrible place. Oh, Natalie, listen to me. Joker, both of us need to think about this. Okay. I will take it. Have a good rest, Natalie.
Natalie, are you there? It's me, Murrow. I want to talk to you about... Violetta. Murrow? How is Violetta? An odd scent that smells like trees roasting in the sun. There are green circles around her eyes. She looks exhausted. Three bottles of perfume that look quite valuable. An old music box. Her condition is pretty bad. She woke up and wished to finish the performance. I think if we tell her that we are willing to perform with her, she'll be happier. I need to think about it, Moreau. Okay. Please come and find me downstairs once you have reached a conclusion. I hope it will not take too long. Joker, are you there? It's me, Murrow. I want to talk to you about Violetta and... Murrow? How is Violetta? Is she awake? Yes. She wishes that we can finish the performance together. Uh, the others... I mean, what did Natalie say? She said she needed to think about it. Okay, I, I will do it if she agrees to do it. And Mike as well. After all, we need four actors for the performance, do we not? Mike, you made dinner? Oh, Moreau. Yes, Violetta hasn't woken up. I've made something to eat in case something worse happens. Hmm. I have wandered in the wild for a long time. That's why I know what hypothermia will do to the body. Moreau, I will finish the performance, for Violetta's sake. That's great, Mike. Violetta will be thrilled when she hears that. What about Zell and Joker? How did your discussion with them go? Mm, they said they needed to think about it, but I think they will agree to do it. Mura, do you believe that was just a performance? Uh, I suppose... Bill. Think about what is written on it, Natalie. The performance has begun, but can only be finished when the conditions are fulfilled. Five children. Four seats. The first child. The second child. You're saying that... 
calm down, Natalie. That is in the past. Just listen to me. The third child? The fourth child. The fifth child. That's the last condition to be fulfilled. Natalie, are you still awake? It's me, Choker. I read your letter. Damn it. That letter. I apologize, Natalie. I should not have argued with you this afternoon. You're not looking well. Are you... Having trouble falling asleep again? This place makes me nervous, Joker. Perhaps I can keep you company. I, I mean, just like before, I'll sit here and wait for you to fall asleep, then I'll leave. Perfume has become very popular in town. Rumor has it that it has a calming effect, which is a luxury I can't normally afford. Since there are very few nice things around here. There are even better things awaiting us, Natalie. Once things end here. Joker, please believe me just this once. Let us finish the performance, and then leave this place. I need you, Joker. As you know, Natalie, I have always believed you. Good night, Joker. Good night.
<laughs> Congratulations, Violetta. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for you, Violetta. I am so happy for you, Violetta. <laughs> The corners of her mouth tilt upward, as if she is happily asleep. A familiar scent fills the air. The smell of there is no breathing. Murrow! How come Violetta? I don't know. I, I passed out last night. When I woke up this morning, Violetta was gone. I looked for her everywhere and then... Oh, you are all here. Violetta? What happened to her? She... Oh my... Violetta. What a poor Violetta! The fifth child fainted! It must be the sun! The fifth child. That's the last condition to be fulfilled. Natalie, the warm up act should wrap it up now. The poor Violetta! Roasting in the sun. The final performance will take place at 9 p.m. in three days. Follow the light of the fire to the stage. Those who complete the performance before midnight will receive everything they desire. It's my fault. I should have kept an eye on her. Hypothermia often leads to hallucinations. I should have kept an eye on her. Moral. <sighs> For now, I will place Violetta in the basement by the forest. The low temperature there will help slow down the decomposition process. Once the snow melts, I will arrange for a proper burial. Exit. Then going forward, are we continuing with this? I should have known this is the place. Why don't we split up and check the place out? 
Hopefully the circuit box is still working. No one can perform in the dark. Sure, I'll go with Natalie. I'll head over to the roller coaster and check it out. I will head over to the haunted house and check it out. I should look for clues about the exit first. There's nothing meaningful here. Natalie? What are you looking for? I remember there was a controller at the riverbank. The riverbank? Perhaps the so-called exit does not refer to this place. the riddle. This sounds like his story. He has always liked flames and stars since he was a child. Then we should hurry. I know it is. Moro has always liked to act like a hero, hasn't he? Joker, what about you? You should have received your story as well, in addition to the invitation. Choker, perhaps you should see how the two of them are doing. We're right, Joker. They are allies, and that poses a danger to us. <laughs> you remember, right? Only those who complete the performance before midnight. Okay then, Natalie. Call me if you run into trouble. as well? That's awesome! Murrow said the rehearsal was about to begin. Mike asked if we could go to the Hullabaloo Theater. Just here. Sergey! Sergey's entrance music! It's him! He's here! 
no, 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 Natalie. It's not him. It's not him. Show yourself, Mike! I know it's you! This is not the time to mess around! Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the pillar of Hullabaloo Circus! The star in everyone's eyes, and the most popular smiling clown, Circus! <gasps> Do not be afraid, Natalie. Natalie, I knew they were behind this. Those damn Morton brothers. Sergey. Let me see. Who is this? Oh, such a pretty lady. Beautiful Natasha. My dear, how are you? You have no idea how much I missed you. Sergei... No! That is not Sergei! That is not the real Sergei! So you're here as well, Joker. You disgusting fraud. Do you think you can replace me by wearing my makeup? <laughs> this joke is so much funnier than your horrible face. Shut up! Shut up! You are the fraud! It is impossible for Sergei to be here! Why is it impossible? I am the star of Hullabaloo, Natalie's favorite leading man! Unless I am dead, I will never be absent! Shut up, you fraudster! Sergei is long dead! He died that day! <laughs> How are you so sure that Sergei is dead? Joker, I thought you said you never went back after that day! I, I saw... No, I asked the police! That's right, I asked the police, they told me! <laughs> the truth is, due to a tiny mistake on the part of my friend, the police still think Sergei is alive to this day. Joker, only one person knows the secret of Sergei's death. <laughs> Joker, you are the one who told me that everyone has a story. And this is your story, Joker. Joker, do you get it now? I put this game together. And this is the reward from the game. Each person's secret is being a liar, a deserter, a murderer. Shut up! Shut up! All of you! You have no idea! You have absolutely no idea! Especially you! You shiny and stupid dog, Mike Morden! Stop kidding around! You think Hullabaloo is such a good place? Have you seen the others? Moro? <laughs> Natalie? <laughs> oh, right. Violetta as well. <laughs> and me. We all hid it here, except for you! You're lying! Oh, shut up! You have absolutely no idea! <laughs> you have always shown bright and had so much fun on this stage! Of course you have no idea! I'm... And you... 
forever a liar! You were a liar in the past and you're one right now! <laughs> <laughs> Such eloquent performance fools no one except me! <laughs> again and again! <laughs> That is why we should all die! 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 <laughs> Margarita. Running me. Come over here. <laughs> Natalie, what are you trying to do? <laughs> do you want to freeze to death as well? Come over here. I won't hurt you. Going back. Moro? The river is flowing too fast. What are we gonna do about Joker? Hand him over to the police? I need to think about it, Moro. But before that, we need to figure out how to get out of here. Perhaps we can look around for other cipher machines. When I was at the merry-go-round, I saw a cipher machine that had not been decoded. There were words written on it as well, in various colors. We have no more clues. Then again, we can check it out first. Chain. Exit. Name. Stars. Red. Pink. Green. Yellow. Muro. If the first four clues were about each of us, then... Can this be about all of us? Uh, I have no idea, Mike. You know I'm not good at this. About all of us. Hullabaloo! Open, Mike. <laughs> Thank goodness, Moreau. We'll take Joker with us and get out of here first. Uh, 
What's wrong, Mike? It's nothing, Morel. I'm still thinking about what we should do about Joker. Did he get away? Uneven cuts, as if broken by a blunt instrument. Some blood stains. A crinkled note. A cracked splinter of a... Huh? Can it be? I don't think so, Moro. Anyway, let's get out of here first. Hmm. <sighs> what if you go first? I want to stay for a while longer. Okay, Mike. Try not to think about what Joker said. That wasn't your fault. But do you think he was right? Moro... All of you hated it here, except for me. Enough, Morel. Go and look for your companion. They should be waiting for you anxiously at the door. See you later. He belongs with those animals. No! I beg of you, Sergei! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this the hullabaloo after the curtain call? Hey, partner. Go find Mike and see if he's okay, will ya? But don't stir up him, okay?